Hey guys, Kirk here from Acid Bite. Uh, today I want to make this video for the Avid users because we recently learned that some of our assets that we didn't think were usable in Avid uh, actually are. So this is going to focus on more of our complicated transitions, especially the ones that make heavy use of alpha channels. So those will include the burning paper, the torn film, or the cracked glass transitions. And it becomes possible to use those in Avid through a plugin called BlendX. BlendX is donation based, so technically you can download it for free. But once you've installed it for whatever your operating system is, then you'll have access to blending modes, which for Avid is great. So to get started, I've got a timeline set up here and you will need four uh, video tracks and one stereo audio track because all of our transitions do come with unique sound effects. So, first thing is to import our assets. Um, for this tutorial, I'm gonna use our burning paper transition, okay? And it's very important to start in the import process because you need to go to link options and then look at these alpha channel options. So first you wanna bring this in as an alpha channel inverted, okay? So I'm gonna do this to show you on this one clip and you can see it's been imported as a mat. And then you want to go and import it again, but this time hit alpha channel ignore. And then you can see that this is going to bring it in as a regular video clip. And of course with the sound effect. So to start building the transition, we're going to grab our matte key and bring that onto our third video track. And we want to line the end of it up with the cut. And then you bring your first video clip up and line it to the far end of the matte key. And the second clip line it to the front end of the matte key. So now we've got our fire element here and we can see the photographer through it and it looks pretty good, but this is not exactly what we want to achieve. So if we go up in our effects editor, we can see that invert key is selected and we can show the alpha here so we can see as a luma mat what this alpha layer is doing for us. Then we'll jump into our effects pullout and we're going to find the regular avid mat key and holding alt, you want to grab that and pull it down onto your top clip. And now you can see that the transition is about halfway done. Um, if you prefer, you can do this in a different order where the second clip is above the first clip, so it's revealed in a different order. But if you do that, you will need to invert that second matte key that we just dragged onto our burning paper mat. Okay, so now the transition is about halfway done, but we're missing that fire and the sound design. So we're gonna go and grab the second file that we imported, which is the regular video clip type, and drag that in on top of the first one, and now you have the sound design. And we see that the fire is blocking out everything else on the screen, but this is the power of Blend X. So we're gonna go into our Blend X folder, grab that Blend X generic effect, and drop it on our top clip, okay? And now you can see in the blending mode, if it's not already set to screen, change it to screen, and now we see the fire effect coming in correctly. Um, give me a second, cause I'm not on the fastest machine, but I'm just gonna pre-render this real quick. Okay, and now we can preview this transition. And uh, that's pretty much it guys, it, it's that easy. So once you've done it once, it'll go much faster after that. Uh, and as I said, it works basically the same for the cracked glass and the torn film transitions. Uh, with the torn film though, we actually pre-rendered the uh, Luma Mat and the overlay layers, which will already be in your download folder. So just use the Luma Mat for your first layer and the overlay for your second layer with a blending mode. So we really hope you have fun with these guys. Uh, we do have another tutorial on the website which explains how to use all of our other overlays and other assets with blending modes uh, using BlendX and Avid. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.